What's going on guys, it's Dale here from Demsec and today I'm starting a new show. So I've been getting many tweets and emails from you guys demanding more videos and I understand I have not been keeping up with a schedule or anything like that of uploading and I really should be, really, why not? So in an effort to make more videos I'm going to be releasing a new show every other day actually where I actually review a tool in Kali Linux or something that you guys submit to you submit to me if you have a tool that you want me to learn show you around it show you how it works then you can go ahead and email me dale at demsec.co.uk or tweet it at me anything like that but today we're going to be covering a pretty interesting tool called WP scan so if we just fire up WP scan and I'll show you the banner so WP scan WordPress security scanner by the WP scan team so, if that wasn't enough for you, what it does is it will interrogate a WordPress website and tell you whether it's running a vulnerable version of WordPress because all the versions of WordPress have um, all kinds of vulnerabilities in terms of SQL injection, remote code execution. And it'll also tell you whether it's running any vulnerable plugins. And this all ties into a database on the back end of WordPress plugins, so keeping it up to date is a very good thing to do. Um, so I'm just going to show you how it works. I'm going to be running this on my own website and I suggest you only ever run it on websites that you are authorised to scan or your own websites just to keep you guys out of any legal issues. So wpscan dash dash uh, url and then you um, type in a web address. So I'm going to be running it on my personal blog recommend you guys go over there if you want to keep up with my personal life you stalkers you so I'm going to run it there you'll see it's actually really quick so and we're done didn't take very much time at all used about five megabytes so once we run the scan it tells you a call a few interesting things so I'll tell you whether the readme file exists and you may think, a readme file, is that really any kind of use? Well, actually, yeah, that can actually indicate which version of WordPress it's running. And if you are aware of any specifically vulnerable versions, if you're looking for a very specific version, this file can actually indicate if it's running that version. And you can see here, it'll tell you the, the theme that's in use. I use cyber games. It's a cool theme. <laughs> uh, interesting header, interesting header, whatever. We're using Nginx with... Uh, Apache 2 backend if you guys are interested in any of that. Um, so as you can see we've got a lot of green stars and what this means is not vulnerable as such or not known to be vulnerable. So we're running contact, contact form version one point, uh, version 4.0.1 .1. and it also says that, the, that we're running contact form version 7 and we'll come back to this because this one's interesting. And the rest you can see not vulnerable. This one here, contact form 7 um, 7.3.5.3 has a remote code execution and it allows you to upload if if the form has a PHP uh, not PHP, a upload box so you can upload files to the website to send them to the author that didn't have any input validation so you could actually put upload a PHP file and it gets uploaded to a publicly accessible folder which means you could upload a PHP shell and go ahead and is pwn the box basically and I think the most important part about this is the fact that you get these links and these links if I just open one up here tell you about the vulnerability and um, how to use it so details attack is, go is going via uploader so it's essentially um, to make contact form with Oh, don't forget, there, there must already be a contact form with the upload um, function, with the upload um, tag in there. You can't just manually put it in by changing the source, it actually has to be hard coded. And all files are uploaded to this folder. Which means if you uploaded a PHP shell, and actually, if you want some free cool ones, if you locate uh, P uh, shell, is it? Web shell, maybe? web shells, there's a load in here, there's PHP shells, P there's 
ASP, PHP, all kinds of web shells in Kali that you can just go ahead and use and some of them are really awesome like the uh, simple backdoor stuff like that gives you a file list and you can delete files and deface websites if that's what you guys are into of course as long as it's only on your own websites or ones that are you that you are authorized to attack so that's been it for the review of the WP scan tool I think it's really awesome really simple and it allows you to very easily find a, a vulnerability in the first place but also find out how to actually exploit it so it's, it's no good knowing about an exploit without being able to actually use it Anyway guys, thank you for watching and I will see you in a couple of days time.